Hey everybody, Cal Hadwin here at Travel and RV in Langley, British Columbia. Happy Tuesday afternoon. We are inside the showroom today, so sorry if anybody yells, photobombs, runs through. Something probably will happen. Um, Airstream Base Camp, it's here. We're doing a video on it. Uh, I know we gave you kind of just a quick little peek on, uh, on Friday there, but we are going to go through it today in uh, a lot more detail and um, just get everybody excited. Everybody is excited to uh, have everybody showing up to take a look at it already. Uh, a couple orders placed, so um, come on down if you can check out the base camp. Otherwise, we'll go through it here. So um, right away up front, the shape of the base camp uh, is completely different than the uh, other Airstreams, but uh, the nice thing is you have no square edges like a standard uh, regular travel trailer. You've got rounded edges everywhere, so you don't have corner joints, um, which are known to leak. Uh, up front, right down below, we have a propane quick connect. Um, maximum 25,000 BTU service up front. Um, so you have your propane quick connect for a fire pit or something like uh, your barbecue. Something that's really neat on this front propane tank cover is you actually have a, another space up top um, when they delivered it to us, we're plugged in right now, so I can't show you the power cord in there, but it's a great place to put your power cord um, space. You wrap it around your center blocks here, um, and it's just a great place to keep your power cord. You just latch it down when you're done. And then below that, you have your two 20-pound propane tanks. Manual tongue jack up front. They make all of the Airstream solar ready, so you are solar ready for a portable solar panel right here. Uh, you also are roof ready as well. We've actually ordered it with the solar panel package. Uh, so there's 160 watts of solar panels up on the roof of the base camps. That is an option. But you do have the portable option as well. Coming around, you do have tempered safety glass all the way around the front of this coach. Uh, as well as the extruded aluminum uh, window frames as well. Uh, and those are all riveted into place all the way around. This is just your battery vent right here. Your battery is actually an AGM battery, um, and it is tucked underneath. Uh, we'll show you inside uh, the cabinetry uh, where your battery is actually located on this trailer. Sliding down the side of it a little bit, we do have an exterior storage compartment right here that just latches in, closes up here, as well as a sewer hose storage tube. Um, so you store your sewer hose in there, you don't have to worry about keeping it inside your vehicle or inside the trailer. That's pretty gross. You don't want to do that. We have a little exterior light around your dump station. So we do have a wet bath. So you have your drain tube here, uh, pull valve that'll drain your um, black tank. Uh, it's actually a combination tank on this, so your gray and your black are a combination from your shower and your toilet. That'll all drain here, and you have your pull valve for that. Outside shower, located right here. I'll talk about the outside shower when we get inside because it's actually a really neat thing that they did with the outside shower. You have 18-inch rims on the uh, base camp, uh, much larger than anything else you're going to see on a smaller travel trailer. And then it's wrapped in Goodyear Assurance tires. Uh, so a very nice, comfortable ride down the road. Um, as well as you have the torsion arm assembly, the standard on the Airstreams uh, from the Flying Cloud Up. So you have torsion arm assembly. That's going to give you a nice comfortable ride when you're riding those forest service roads to get this to a place that you want to go camping. You have your fresh water tank fill here on this side. Uh, and that's going to fill your fresh water tank. And then if you do have services, you can hook up to your fresh water connection right here. 30 amp service is on the base camp to run your air conditioner on all the appliances inside. And then you have uh, your venting for your Truma combination unit. This is to your furnace and your hot water, so uh, that's just the vent for that. You do have four stabilizer pads around the coach to keep it nice and steady for when you're out camping. You can see how much craftsmanship goes into even just the door on the Airstream with all the aluminum um, all the way through the door. We're going to go around to the back, I think. We probably could have. We didn't want to mix anybody up in their offices. But uh, a couple, you have power here, 110 power if you do have 
plugs that is hooked up to your GFI. Um, Michelle's back far enough, I think, that you can see it. So uh, we have the rear tent on the base camp right now. We don't have the side tent on it. We have, we've ordered them all with the back and the uh, side tent as well. But you can see the back, to, the back tent offers up a lot more space. Um, the tents just give you that much more living space when you're set up. Uh, you can see you can put more people back here for sleeping, use it as a good hangout spot, uh, put your picnic table back here, a couple of chairs or anything like that. The rear hatch on the Airstream, so the old base camp had the folding door, and that was your only entrance door. Uh, they've revamped that completely now. We already kind of saw it, but they've got the side entrance door now, so you don't have to. You're not using this rear door to get in and out of it every time, which is really nice. Uh, but it's still versatile enough that you can slide your mountain bikes in there, um, you know, small canoes and watercraft and things like that. So it's perfect. It's adventure ready. You're ready to go uh, wherever you want. All LED clearance lights and tail lights on the coach. Um, nice big window even here in the rear storage door. Comes with a safety kit. You've got everything for when you're out in the middle of the forest. Setup time on the rear tent for my first time took about 10 minutes. Um, and it's just going to get faster from there. It's quite easy to set up. So they do have instructions inside and it makes life uh, a lot easier and you have so much more room when you do get to your campsite. We're gonna go inside now. We'll kind of start up front here again. So we talked about the safety tempered glass. It gives you this expansive view. You have this 180 degree view when you're up here in your kitchen area. Um, it's really nice. You got a great view out there of the lake, anything like that. You can see it, but at night, for a little bit of privacy, it's nice that I have two hands for this. You have window shade, so they just zip up, there's a the little velcro there, and now you're all set up for the night time, nobody can see inside, and you can do whatever in your own privacy. Up here in the kitchen area they've done a few really good things. Save space. You have power plugs, 110 power plugs, as well as 12 volt USB chargers up front. There's two of these. There's another one located here on the left hand side. We have our two burner gas propane cooktop as well uh, for all your cooking. And then if Michelle can get a little closer, we just need to show you. So it has the same sink as the interstate vans do in it. Um, so you got your pop-up faucet here, um, little nozzle, hot and cold water, so it'll just store away. Nice spice rack here with a couple of hooks for any utensils that you may need. And you do have your racks up top as well, nice and sturdy uh, racks up top for storing. Down here, you have a nice storage compartment. There's lots of storage down here. They built this little cutlery drawer in. It just sits into this little notch here. Down below that, as I said, a nice little storage area. Right here is actually where your battery is located. So if you pull off this panel here, your battery is down below here. We have a hardwired battery disconnect right here, which is nice. Disconnect your battery right from the system. Your propane gas detector is down there, as well as your 12 volt tank heaters. So this unit was equipped with uh, tank heaters, which is nice. We'll extend your season if you want to go up to Whistler or Kelowna in the wintertime, go do some skiing. You have your Dometic refrigerator here, gas electric uh, refrigerator up front. They give you this nice little hard plastic mat, throw your shoes on, good place for that. Again, more storage racks. Your fire extinguisher is always right inside your door for safety. Again, lots more storage here, and you have your microwave. As soon as you enter, uh, one thing that I forgot to mention on the entry, one of the great things is your sliding door. So you have magnetic latched here, nice screen door, sliding screen door, and it just stores nicely out of the way and doesn't really take up much space. You have a control panel for your Truma combi unit. Uh, that's providing your heat and your hot water 
there's a lot of control functions actually that comes with this so it's a nice little system uh, you can go through all your settings temperatures propane gas electric set timers so you can do all that there right beside it the select the the C level uh, tank monitoring system is really nice where you get normally you have a third two thirds full this actually gives you a level and a percentage zero percent all the way up to a hundred percent so uh, you get a little bit more uh, you can tell a little bit more where you're actually at rather than just a third two thirds three thirds which would be full uh, battery voltage as well is going to be read out there uh, you again have more storage here another USB charger um, and again just more storage cup holder if you want to use it and this is a locking compartment um, so if you are you know keeping your phone while you're out riding or anything like that you can lock this compartment you've got switches for your exterior and interior lights just right here when you enter the coach as well as again another place to hang some keys and things like that a little bit more storage inside this glass cutaway now you can see the cabinetry is still a plywood cabinetry with laminate over top so this isn't a sticker on top or anything like that it is plywood cabinetry with laminate over top um, and you have this full vinyl flooring as well which is super durable it's going to stand up to throwing mountain bikes and things like that inside of this coach so that's really nice we are going to slide into the bathroom here so Again, another thing that the old base camp didn't have was a bathroom. So now you have this wet bath combination unit. So your toilet is inside your shower area. But this is a nice enclosed area. You have gaskets all the way around. So when that door is closed, you have a tight seal. Feel free to shower in here. You're not going to get water everywhere. You have extruded aluminum in the corners to cover up any sharp corners. You have storage nice storage hanger made specifically for the base camp it says right on it base camp uh, to hold all your shampoos body washes soaps and things like that it's actually quite a big area in here too there is enough space for any fully grown adults or anything like that you have your michelle's laughing you have your fan in here um, to vent everything out so make sure you're using that when you are showering fully supported clothes rod you do also have, for any wet clothes of the lighter variety, you can lock this into place, hang some lighter products from this clothes rod here. They also have a couple of hooks inside of here to hang things that you would like. I'm just going to step out. So you got your full Dometic Sealand porcelain toilet. You have a little space here for soap and other things. The reason that I point that out is right there in that uh, gray compartment there is actually that outside shower compartment. So your shower will either stay high or you're actually going to pass it down through the clip. We're not going to fit through the clip right now. We didn't prep for that, but uh, <laughs> normally you'll fit through the clip. And you actually can just take it right outside. So you'd reach in through the hole, turn your hot and cold water on, and use it as an outside shower as well. So you're not taking up any space having two showers. You just use this one outside. You have a fully insulated plastic toilet paper holder so that your toilet paper is not getting wet while you're taking that shower. And you have a nice bright LED light up top as well. So there's still lots of light inside your bathroom area even with the door closed. Fantastic fan up top in the kitchen area. That's gonna move a lot of that air if you're stuck on 12 volts and uh, can't use your air conditioner, just don't like to use your air conditioner. We'll move on to the air conditioner. Uh, so right above me is your air conditioning unit. It is a 13,500 BTU air conditioner, but it also has a heat strip built into it. That is optional. We ordered it that way. Um, so this will provide 110 electric heat for you as well, um, if necessary. Sliding into this back area here, you have lots of space. It's very uh, versatile back here. This is where you're going to have that U-shaped dinette. You're going to have it set up as we do now. You can have it set up as a single bed, and you can have this whole back set up as a bed. So uh, very versatile back here as to what 
uh, you want to use it for. If you're just using it for sleeping and you're going to do all your eating outside, just leave it in a bed position. If you're going to be eating inside during the day and hanging out, well, then have it in the position that we do now. We'll just actually put these tables away uh, because I like the places that they offer you up to store them. So uh, right here we have bungee cords down the side and it's actually just a perfect spot Flip it on that side here, do it right. Um, so they give you this great spot to store your tables. It's just a single unclip. Get your tables off. And so now you've got a spot to store your tabletops. You're probably going to ask me, well, what about the legs? What am I going to do with my table legs? Well, they give you a spot for those two because Airstream thinks of all of that stuff. So, just lift up our storage on this side here. We actually have places to clip in our table legs. So you'll notice that there's two short table legs as well. Those are used when you are making either side into a bed. You are going to use those short table legs and the tabletops as a support for the beds. We have two more USB chargers back here as well as 110 power. You have tie downs all the way around back here if you are tying down any mountain bikes or anything like that. Two more cargo hold areas up top and your converter back here. Your rear door does have a screen down. If you do want to leave that door open and stare at the lake, you can keep all the bugs out by just snapping that into place. And in the back, we do also have two opening windows. So we have the same way to close them off with the blinds, just with the zip up, tuck it in. But then we also do have windows that actually open back here, which is nice. So create a little bit of airflow during that summertime. Just close that off and then strap those back in. So it's nice to have those opening and closing windows back here. Guys, that's the tour of the base camp. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please email or call myself, Kyle Hadwin at Traveland RV. Check in with our uh, internet department as well. We do have the base camp at the Airdrie location as well, folks. So Langley and Airdrie uh, do have the base camp. So if you're in the Calgary area, uh, you can also check out the base camp there. Please come on down, take a look at it, see it. If you have any questions, let us know. Travel Land RV, Langley, Kelowna, and Airdrie. Thanks for watching, guys.